Hello everyone, my name is Sarah. I'm the manager of the planetarium at the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History and today I'm coming to you from my home to celebrate Sun Earth Day. And look at that beautiful sun behind me. That is a gorgeous sun and that is a amazing, very large explosion right there from our sun. Today to celebrate Sun Earth Day, I'm going to encourage you to create your own size scale of the sun and earth uh, with certain materials at home. Then of course I'm going to show you guys some of the things that I love most about the sun. So let me go ahead and start out by bringing up our awesome materials here that you will be using today. So here are some of the tools you will need to gather at home. You will need paper, string, scissors, something to measure with, and something to write with. The paper, of course, is for your scale example of the sun and earth to create those with. Whatever kind of paper you have, of course, the bigger the better. The string and the writing utensils are to help you create that nearly perfect circle. You don't have to make it perfect, of course, uh, but creating that circle will be key. And of course, something to measure with to see that the sun and earth you created are in fact at the right scale. And of course, the scissors to cut both the sun and earth out. This activity was inspired by NASA's Sun Earth Pizza. This Sun Earth Pizza I physically have at the museum. It's just about nine inches across in diameter. And then the little earth they've created to the appropriate scale on the back is just around two millimeters in size. And they call this a Sun Earth Pizza because you can actually, as you can see here, pop the earth out of the overall example and use it as a topping. Now your Sun and Earth at home may need to be a different size just based on the paper you have at hand. In fact, depending on how big the paper is at home, you might need to put multiple pieces of paper together. You'll figure it out either way. Uh, if your sun ends up not being nine inches but bigger, or perhaps a little smaller, though I'd recommend going bigger, you can find out exactly what size your earth needs to be with this website. This comes to us from the Explorium. You see at the very top here, you can put in your size of sun. So let's put in nine inches here and calculate what the rest of our system needs to look like. And you can see that two millimeters right there for the Earth. Venus is just a tad under two millimeters. You can go bigger, of course. Let's go 10 inches and see. So let me clear my form here. Go a little bigger here and calculate from there. And of course, you can go a lot bigger if you want to. So there you can see how big you can really create your sun. And once again, I don't advise anyone go far under nine inches. Otherwise, your Earth will become just the tiniest speck. Now, in reality, the sun is 864,000 miles across. The earth is only just a little over 8,000 miles across. So that already is a dynamic difference in size. The sun's dynamics we're still learning about today. The latest mission, the Parker Solar Probe, will give us even more information about the sun. But here I can show you the sun's activities, including the very large explosions like that one called coronal mass ejections. The sun also has solar wind. And all this energy affects us here on Earth in many ways. Now the sun's energy can also create something beautiful in our sky. And one day I hope to see this myself. I'm talking about the Aurora Borealis. 
The aurora borealis, or northern lights as you might know it, are created when the charged particles from the sun collide with atoms and molecules in our atmosphere and excite them, create this beautiful light effect. Of course, you do have to travel pretty far north on the Earth to see it or wait for a very large and potentially dangerous solar flare. I'd recommend the traveling north. Lucky for Earth, we do have a magnetic shielding that keeps us safe. That magnetic shield, though some of these particles can kind of get past it up at the far North Pole or the South Pole, uh, for the most part, that magnetic shield keeps us quite safe. And here's another great example of those charged solar particles coming at the Earth. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about the Sun-Earth system today. Hope you enjoy creating your own Sun-Earth model at home. And hope you guys keep coming back for more videos from the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History. Thanks so much for joining us today.